And then we have this one, another slow placement was patience. There's a lot of diligence and patience with the way people with Mercury and Capricorn. Um, a lot of it is, it's like my brother, I think my brother has this placement, they just, it's like Taurus where there's very, there's a lot of observation, but very patient, it's just probably one of, he's probably even more patient than Taurus, because it's not, it's not supposed to be about the pleasure, it's about the discipline, the sort of, um, there's a certain wisdom that comes through it, they don't talk, unless it's timed unless it's right it's just you know biding your time is something both mercury scorpio mercury capricorn have they bide their time there's a lot of patience there's a lot of like you, know, you can talk to uh, mercury and uh, capricorn people for a long time whether they get bored or not depending on their sun um, but most likely, if it's their sun is in Capricorn and moon in Capricorn and Mercury is right there, it's like a stellium, meaning like three, three or more planets. They're all conjunct, conjunct. Most likely, they'll just like because they would still there's there's still a bit of a learning thing there as well. But they believe that they can, you know, weather the storm. This is the kind of like when it comes to planning, it's very much like let's work through it. Let's let's see what we can work with. Let's see what we can work with. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So these are people who are very much highly observant, but patient about the observance. It's not just observing for the sake of observing. It's just it has to have a direction. And there's certain like the wisdom I said earlier. It has to. Um, there has to be some sort of experience with it. If they don't have actual experience with it, they feel like they have had no achievement attached to it, a sense of accomplishment with the way they communicate, an understanding of it, or it doesn't get to this sort of this goal. They're probably just like, let's put it aside, and then I'm gonna go here. Maybe I'll come. I'll probably come back to that if it goes well with what I want and that's usually where the Sun comes in but because it's Saturn ruled it's yeah I don't know how to describe it any more than I have it's very patient Mercury in uh, uh, Mercury in Aquarius people have a similar placement like I have with Uranus it's very electrifying it's very not quick-witted it's very intellectual very analytical but not in detail but more like mercury and aquarian people they enjoy working with the words that are probably opposite of mundane which is basically it, it has to be out there, it has to be innovative, it has to have a certain... Um, it's not about communication anymore, it's... It's intellectual communication, it's intellect, it's, it's just like... You know, if Mercury and uh, Korean people, I think my brother has this... They like, to, they like things that... Um, well, they... It depends again on the, depends again on the sun, but they enjoy th communicating. Being they're more expressive when they realize and they see that there's a future purpose to it. When they see that it's just like necessarily like high tech, you know, it's 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 not just innovative. It's I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's something that I can't. I, I don't know. I think maybe because I don't really have that placement. But um, there's also bursts of changes in the way a person communicates. They tend to might they might tend to change their mind, and not because they're indecisive, but because it's like, oh by the way, oh by when by dad has this, 
Um, but that's also because he has Sun in Pisces. Um, so it's just less like... Oh, by the way, there's this. So there's always a certain sort of like switcher of things. But it's changing, not coming back to something. It's changing and seeing where is it going from here. Where's, and it also has to carry over that wisdom thing that carries from uh, Capricorn. So there has to be a grander purpose to communication rather than just like information. <laughs> you know, there has to be direction. Finally, we get into Mercury and Pisces. This is like my sister has this placement. Very reactive, just like um, because Venus, because Nep it's Neptune ruled and Neptune is the high vibration of Venus. Um, it's There's a certain reactivity to it, a lot of emotions behind it. Unlike the other two signs, the two water signs, they don't really hide their emotion. They kind of express it more, and but in a very... They want to be able to connect in a very highly emotional, divine way. I don't know how to describe it. It's very out there. Um, it's very... They like illusions. And sometimes, I would say Mercury, probably Mercury and Pisces people don't really like talking for the sake of talking. Because they're like, what is talking? They're getting curious about information, but is it something that ties in with belief and the divine and spirituality and you know all things ethereal? Is it is it is it on the quantum level? They tend to prefer communication that is not necessarily quiet, but more like. It almost ties in back to Aries, which is body related. It's more like you know, not necessarily communicating at all. In fact, probably not even at all. Like it's just like you know, Mercury and pe Mercury and Pisces people when they communicate, they love to communicate with things or people that there's a certain it's like it's just knowing there's a certain intuition that it's just like and you don't need to affirm or confirm anything you just like it's like this wavelength that's just like right? it's a highly intuitive people so so i hope you guys like that um that's all we have for today uh, Mercury, I don't know how to just, <laughs> I didn't know how to have fun with Mercury in terms of communication like elsewhere. I was thinking like, should I be in the car again? I don't know. But definitely this is part of this whole process where this bit of that detail orientedness as well. But planning and also a youthfulness about yourself. So again, the blessings of Mercury is that it allows for you to it can give you if you allow it to dig deeper and also out there and everywhere so that the communicational process is a connection right any sort of nerve any sort of connective tissue any sort of connective you know cord between you and a person that energy that's still communication that's still connected with mercury right so whenever you have a sort of a connection there's a flow to something between one and another thing or between multiple things that's mercury okay. i hope you guys like that if you have any comments below type down below uh like and subscribe and that's all we have for today